Celtic world has more than its share of the supernatural, legends, and myth, which sometimes cross the line into reality. I tell those tales here on Dark Celtic History. <laughs> Bonnie Bridge, Scotland, the Falkirk Triangle, the Roswell of Scotland, and UFO Hotspot. Now, Roswell Air Force Base in 1947 was the center of the United States Atomic Weapons Research Program, so it makes sense that if an alien visitor did come to Earth, he would go to that place, you know, like, kind of like that. But the cover-up is inevitable in these cases. A man named Marcel was in charge of security at Roswell. His son, Jesse Jr., then 11, later claimed that he handled pieces of the alien aircraft. Even later, it was reported that a nurse at the base said she had been present at the autopsies of three creatures which had been recovered from the debris. Now, both Marcells are dead now, and the nurse was never identified, and, as in most of these mysterious, um, she is said to have conveniently died in a plane crash. Now, how do they know she died in a plane crash if she was never identified? Hmm. Now, in July of 1997, just days before the 50th anniversary of the crash, when spectators would flock to Roswell, the U.S. Air Force released a 231-page report called the Roswell Report. Basically, case closed, which rubbished the theories and explained that the three aliens were crash test dummies. Hmm. Basically, it gave it closure. But it was merely proof for ufologists that the state secrecy about what really happened is what was known as Area 51 was being reinforced. When a report was issued that Scotland had its own Area 51 in the 90s, the Falkirk Triangle centered on Bonnie Bridge, where each year another 300 or so sightings are reported, many expected the same kind of cover up. Yet, all they have had officially is silence. The first was in 1992, when local businessman James Walker was driving between Falkirk and Bonnie Bridge. He stopped when he spotted a shining star-shaped object which was hovering over the road, blocking his path. Now, Walker, who must have been exceedingly calm with his demeanor, said that the object flew away at an incredible speed before he did the very same thing. Now, others have reported seeing a howling UFO that buzzed their cars while a cigar-shaped aircraft was spotted landing on a golf course, probably getting in an early round. Now, others claim to have been captured by the aliens in the triangle, taken aboard for examination. Now, their memories of what happened was wiped clean, but they believed it happened. So, the provost of Falkirk and independent counselor, Billy Buchanan, you know, he certainly believes. Now, he has written to three prime ministers demanding inquiries. And so far, no results. Now, how do we know aliens aren't walking around? He said in 2005. How indeed. Yeah, we've had our suspicions about all kinds of people, haven't we? <laughs> but why Bonnie Bridge? Is it some interstellar interchange? Or is the Falkirk Triangle actually a window to another dimension? Now, given the number of crafts spotted, the council should impose some kind of congestion tax. Although enforcement might be problematic, whatever else. It is, just, is it just a handy promotion to draw visitors to one of the less affluent parts of the country? Or are they real? Now, Bonnie Bridge is a small town in central Scotland that, to the casual observer, looks fairly unremarkable. You know, once home to a variety of industries from brickworks to iron foundries, it's just a suburb of Glasgow and Stirling now, but to those who still believe the truth is out there, this is Scotland's Roswell. Now, where hundreds of UFO sightings have been reported over the last two decades, now the town, if the sightings are to be believed, became an intergalactic tourist hotspot following an incident in 1992. Subsequently, more than 600 reports of sightings were made between 92 and 94 alone. The residents, the local residents, packed out the town hall meetings 
to discuss the phenomenon, and the local councilor began writing letters to 10 Downing Street demanding answers. Now, what had started as an amusing story for the Scottish press quickly escalated as film crews from as far away as Russia came to record features and hopefully catch a glimpse of this alien spacecraft. Now, skeptics pointed out the fact that Bonnie Bridge is under flight paths for serving Edinburgh and Glasgow International Airports and a commercial aircraft, airfield, sorry, airfield, operating only a couple miles away in Cumbernauld. Now, even though most of the sightings took place in the 90s, Bonnie Bridge's reputation for UFOs never diminished completely. In fact, its most notable sighting took place in 2011, when a crowd of UFO researchers were conducting experiments and the local police were called out to quell their ruckus at 2 a.m. When the Scottish police arrived to break up the crowd and restore peace, they were quickly shown the odd lights dancing around in the sky and became quick converts to the UFO phenomenon. Incidentally, they stayed for about another 30 minutes until the lights flew away very fast. In the meantime, calls to the local airport showed nothing on radar and scheduled flights could not be seen flying right past them. Now the police were amazed along with everybody else, but oddly were ordered to clear the area by their superiors, who, they were told, were ordered by theirs as well. Hmm, seems like a cover-up to me.